Since I've started developing with AI, I've come across so many new tools on discords and subreddits. And in today's video, I'm going to show you four of my favorites. Whether you've been working in AI for a while, or maybe you're just getting started, there should be something in this list for you. With that said, let's have a look at the first one. This tool is called Label Studio. A few months ago, I was working on a computer vision project and I needed to annotate a ton of images. There were quite a few Python based annotation tools and libraries out there already that I could have used, but I just wanted something quick and easy so that I can start annotating right away. I found Label Studio on a subreddit and I haven't stopped using it since. It's basically a tool for labeling all kinds of data. So if you've got a big data set of like images or text or something and you need to annotate it, then Label Studio is perfect. My favorite thing about the tool is that it exports the data sets in conventional formats like Coco and Yolos, which makes it a lot easier to import and train my models using that data set straight from Label Studio. The tool even offers ML assisted labeling, which means that you can have AI help you do the labeling, which then helps you create a data set to then train a model. It's pretty meta. <laughs> I haven't actually got around to trying that feature yet, but if you have, then please let me know how you got on with it in the comments. Next up is a tool called Olama. Olama basically makes getting set up with LLMs locally really straightforward. Before tools like Olama, if you wanted to test out a new LLM model, you'd basically have to either download the model and write a bunch of boilerplate Python or use the transformers library just to try out a model. However, with Olama, it's as simple as downloading Olama, going to terminal and then typing Olama run and then the model name that you want to try out. And then you could just use it locally for free. The maintainers of the Olama project have also gone out of their way to make sure that it's up to date with the latest models too. I really like this project. It's really simple to install it's really simple to set up and it just makes experimenting with new LLMs really quick and easy. A quick side note, if you think that I've missed any tools in this video, then please do let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about them. Next up is a tool called OpenRouter. Now, this is one of my favorite discoveries of the past few months, so much so that I actually made an entire video on it separately, um, but I haven't seen very many people talking about it, so I thought I'd talk about it here too. OpenRouter is an amazing API which offers LLM inference at either a discounted price or in some cases, totally free. But I've actually moved a lot of my projects over to OpenRouter now because it's just so much more cost effective. For example, Mistral 7B, which didn't come out that long ago, is available on OpenRouter and it is 100% off, which effectively means that it's totally free to use. If you want a little bit more detail on how you can get started with OpenRouter, check out the description. There'll be a link to one of my other videos in there. And finally, number four, which is probably my favorite out of the lot if I had to pick favorites, this is Streamlit. Streamlit can basically turn an AI model or a Jupyter notebook into a fully fledged web app with barely any work whatsoever. If you're like me and you get more excited about building and training models than you do about doing UI work, then Streamlit is definitely the framework for you. You can basically download and import the library and you get access to a bunch of UI components that have been built with generative AI in mind. So think things like chat and file inputs, data visualization components like tables and graphs, and it's all available to use in a really easy to use API. On top of that, once you've built your app in Streamlit, which really doesn't take very many lines of code, it's really easy to deploy your app to their cloud-based service so that anyone can try out your new AI app. I think in every single one of my project videos that I've done here on YouTube, Streamlit always shows up. And that's everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. If there are any tools that I've missed or if any of them have been particularly helpful to you, please do drop me a comment. Thanks very much and I will see you in the next one.